So I think, sadly, Jake Sisko is going to be the first one in the door, and I totally clicked inside. <laughs> that was dumb. Like, a level of dumb that is uncomparable to anything else. Okay, so... Um, Gonna get Tuvok ready with a rocket launcher in case need be. Um, move him to here. I just need to have enough time units to look away. These guys out in the wheat field, I believe I've given them enough time to recuperate. Yeah, they can get out. He's also a sergeant, so Julian should be up near here as well. And... Who's this? Uh, Harry Kim. Okay. He's also a sergeant. And Alexander is going to move to here, I guess. And we're just going to leave that tank guard that bottom door. Captain, we got our motion, motion sensor girl. She'll move up a little bit closer. Try and get the best uh, view of the area she can. And I really hope they don't just pop out and shoot a rocket in my face. Like, right now, that would be really bad. Even if they pop out, it's probably bad, because all my guys are just going to shoot each other, trying to shoot the alien. Oh, oh, yeah. we got it. Okay, we're good. So, um, are you ready for this? Because I'm not. Uh, you scanner. There's one at 3 and 5, and one at 8 and 2. Really, I think I'm not going to get much better odds, because that 1, 2, and 3, so they're going to be over here somewhere in that corner. That's some good distance. Jake Sisko, in you go. Oh man. Oh, there's the dead cow. Oh man. Should Cisco just unload on this guy? Just auto shot, auto shot, auto shot? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, miss. Oh, 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 miss. Oh, got him. Okay. Check this corner. There's nothing. Um. I want to say check your corners know. and maybe move him out. Well, the problem is if I move him out, then when I pop back in, he might get shot again. But don't you have other guys lined up to go in? Oh, I do. I do. So they can come in and just sort of hold the base. Okay, so he moves out of the way. Um, to here. That way Alexander doesn't have to walk around him. Um, Nog is kind of a high level guy but he's gonna go in next and I think sit with time units because I just I can't I have to leave this I have to have a secure hold um, yeah Tuvok cannot get in here with a rocket launcher that's not a good idea um, shoot yeah my only other person who can go in is another captain Mr. Alexander. Yeah, he's gonna go for it. They're both gonna hold the door. And then the rookies are gonna... Or, well, not the rookies, but the sergeants are gonna hang out outside. And... I also want to get this guy involved, too, because he's also uh, a sergeant. This is the one bad thing about taking a tank, is I'm severely reduced on the number of guys I have when I take a tank. And it's most it's alright most of the time, but for missions like this where the tank can't get in, then I'm down four dudes. Yep. This guy should no, I also totally be, agree. Should be up a little bit closer. Um, and the good doctor will just get closer for moral support. They don't have any kind of guided rockets that are going to blow me up, do they? Like a blaster launcher? Yeah. Whatever. Everyone's going to die. They are in such a giant group right now, but I don't think they can get to me. Okay. 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 This Julian guy goes in. Moves to here. Nothing in that elevator. Okay. Um, 
holds. Uh, Jake Sisko is going to attempt to scout this elevator area. Um, he sees nothing. He's going to hold position here. Um, Alexander has a lot of time units. He's going to attempt to get over here without dying. <sighs> he ran out of time units. Shoot. Alright, well I guess he holds here with no time units. Um, Nog will get to here. Aim at that elevator. Tuvok will again not get too close. I almost feel like switching him to the laser rifle at this point because the rocket isn't going to help much. Um, Harry Kim is going to get inside and then I think his bet bet is, best bet is going to be to face the wall so he doesn't get himself killed and Quark is going to get ready to move in as well. And end turn. No one dies. Okay. She's going to check her radar. There is a bunch of guys all about six down. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So along this line here, there's just like a couple guys kind of around the center, which could be just around this elevator. Um, you know what? I think Jake's going to risk it. I mean, you're crazy. He's going to face towards the aliens because he has more armor if he gets shot in the chest. Okay. Um, he's got enough for an auto. He's going to hold here. Yeah. Y yeah. <laughs> um... I'm freaking out right now. Uh, Alexander, I, I'm sort of also examining the layout of the ship a little bit, and it looks like this room here you can only get to normally by going up through the top. Like it's a bit of a maze that is like, because if you look this area here, you come in and you can go all around the outside, but there's no door. It doesn't look like to get into this room. So normally in order to get into the in order to get up above you'd have to go in through the south door and then go up and find mm -hmm. your way in order to come down into this room and then go into this long corridor room. Hmm. Um anyways, so it's a bit of a maze. I think Alexander is going to face this way and go up the elevator. Oh no. Um, this does not seem like a safe location at all. Maybe he goes down the elevator. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Um, <laughs> he's going to stand to one side. Nog is going to move up to the elevator. Stand there with a the shot ready. Um, Harry Kim. Oh, no, Maybe no, I'm either... trying... Oh, never mind. So much hate. Uh, I hate I hate it when it does that. I really, really do. Harry Kim's gonna get ready to go through this door. Julian, I guess, is gonna get ready to go up this elevator. Um, and also have no time units left. They toss a grenade down that elevator shaft. I'm so dead. Um, Quark is gonna move up to here. And Tuvok will get into this room. But again, he's going to just sort of be back up in case I need a rocket. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Everyone go. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. And the question is whether or not the aliens are smart enough to even throw a grenade down an elevator shaft. Okay, Jake Sisko is going to move forward and check this room. And he clicked in the wrong spot, but it's fine. Aliens right there. 
He's going to auto shot. 24 accuracy. Here we go. Just die. It's dead. Okay. Hey, win. Mr. Cisco is going to look at this bottom door. Um. This Julian character is going to head up the elevator. Just yeah, slow just and steady. Don't send too many guys out there. Just yeah, I know. I'm just I'm gonna basically cover this room slowly, and then after they have this room secure, then we're gonna move on to the next room. Um, I now understand why there was like three guys in this area though, because it's just a long corridor. How many more floors is there? There is one more floor after this as well. Okay. Um, Quark is gonna get ready to go up the elevator. Uh, Nog is going to get ready to go up the elevator. And Harry Kim is going to go up this elevator. And probably wait in the corner for the time being. It doesn't matter. That door is going to close. Okay. Um, and I think that's everyone. Tuvok will move to here. Uh, I think it's safe to move the doctor and my motion sensor girl inside, so they're going to come in. You know, in case everyone dies, at least there will be two people close to deal with it. Um, and that ends another turn. Aliens? Aliens. Two doors, an elevator, I think. Okay, so no one came in this room. That's somewhat re 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 That's somewhat of a relief. Uh, words. <laughs> okay. Um, she's going to use her motion sensor. Okay, so right above her, or even the floor above that, there's at least two, uh, three over from her. Uh, there's one five and one way over near the eight three. So if we go up a level, that's kind of like. Uh, two here, then like one down over this way somewhere, and then one over here somewhere, is how I'm reading it. Uh, we're going to have Mr. Cisco again be the scout here. He's going to step forward through this door to find nothing. All right. So far, um, I kind of want to leave it here and then. I don't. Uh, okay. We'll, no, we're no, that's forward. a safe bet. I'm too greedy with my time units. There's a guy right there. Okay. We're gonna deal with this by shooting him and killing him. All right. He does not have enough to move away though, so he's gonna need some backup. Julian will come through the door. See nothing. Again, we know there's one over here and two down this hallway. It seems like, or they're above a uh, floor above. Although I do see an elevator right there. Um, she maybe Jake does a have enough more guys movement. up into that other elevator move or uh, room. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's worth moving Julian forward a little bit so some more people might be able to come out here, or... No, I'd say just leave him there for this turn. I'm going to leave him here, crouched for better reaction. Maybe. I don't know. Because uh, then he can see that door. Uh, Harry Kim will get in here, head towards this door. Um, Alexander will head up here, we'll get towards this door, facing this way, I, no, that way, and he's going to face this way. Hopefully they don't kill each other in a crossfire. Um, 
Nog is gonna head up. Oh, uh, that one. And I guess move to here. There's a lot of guys in one corner right now. I think that's all I'm moving up here. Yeah. There's still two more to go up, but I don't want to send too many people up at the same time. Because that's a really crowded area. So, alien turn. Nobody die. 